Hello, my name is Sally Latkovich, and I can't believe that we are nearing the conclusion of Lent as Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion this Sunday. If the days and weeks of Lent have gotten past you, it's not too late. I have three thoughts for you, and each of them starts with an H. First, we call next week Holy Week. The Hebrew word for holiness actually means set apart. So when we hear, be holy, for I the Lord am holy, we reflect on the holiness of our God. It's not about asceticism, it's about being set apart. Our God is set apart from other gods, and there are many gods in our culture. So as Lent's days are numbered, what is your image of God? Who is the God to whom you pray? Not simply asking God for blessing or favors, but the God who desires to be in relationship with us. Focus these days on your relationship with God and our gods being set apart from other gods, our God being holy. Second, Traditionally, during Holy Week, we focus on the sufferings of Jesus. However, it is not suffering, not even the suffering of Jesus, that makes the week holy. Rather, it is holy because of the inexplicable and immeasurable love that prompted that suffering. Genuine love often empowers even transforms us. This week we see that, driven by love for all, Jesus willingly accepted the consequences of his role as Savior. Focus this week on the power of love. Love we have encountered and experienced, and love that we have given and offered. Let us be one with Jesus in our loving. Third, we sing out two words this week that are not part of our daily vocabulary. Hosanna and Hallelujah. On this coming Sunday, Palm Sunday of the Passion, we sing Hosanna as we join with those who welcomed Jesus to Jerusalem. The original meaning of the word was, please save us. But it has evolved to mean salvation, thank you. It's our greeting of Jesus as Savior. And so we join in the throngs that welcome Jesus to Jerusalem as we join in singing, Hosanna, and each time the Eucharistic prayer begins, we sing Hosanna in the highest as we recognize the saving act of Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Let us sing Hosanna out loud. And then at Easter, we join in celebratory hallelujahs. This word literally means we praise our God. It is sung out with enthusiasm and joy. When I did religious education in a parish school, I previewed the Sunday Gospel with the first and second graders. And we always sang, Hallelujah! And I encouraged enthusiasm and joy. One bright little child said very matter-of-factly, no one ever looks that happy in church, and said, 
And so let us look happy, full of joy, as we anticipate our songs of hallelujah, as Holy Week concludes in the great feast of resurrection. So remember the three H words this week, holiness being set apart, Hosanna, Savior, thank you, and hallelujah, we rejoice. And let these words fill our closing days of Lent.